Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is something that I have been wanting to do for a very long time. Absolutely everybody is chatting in the comments over in the comments here on YouTube, but also over on Facebook in the Organised Mom community. How can we get our energy bills down? And first and foremost, it's trying to eradicate as much as possible, if not completely, the tumble dryer usage. Now, obviously, we're heading into the autumn. Things are getting really tricky to dry outside. So mo lots of people are moving to drying their clothes inside. So there was a conversation on the Facebook group the other week about someone who posted a picture of a spin dryer. Now, if you don't know what a spin dryer is, um, you will have used one. A spin dryer is when you go to the swim baths or your local leisure center or spa or health club or whatever, and they have that machine in the changing room that you put your swimsuit in, you close the lid and it goes da -da 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 and the swimsuit comes out an awful lot drier than when it went in. So it's exactly the same thing. So a lady posted about the spin dryer that she was using and that sparked a really lovely conversation. People were like, oh, I use a dehumidifier. It's been an absolute game changer for me. There's a closed drying setting. So it kind of got me thinking. I was like, chances are people aren't going to have both because they're an investment. They're both over £100. They both take up space. And if you're trying to save money, the chances are that you'll just have one or the other. Or you might not have either. You might. The reason why you might have found this video is because you're trying to decide which is best. So I bought them both. I went on Amazon. I bought them both and I gave them a good testing. Everything in this video is my personal opinion. I want you to take what I say and apply it to your situation because obviously everybody is going to be completely different. So it was a typical clean sheet Tuesday. I had three sheets. I had a control sheet. I wanted it to be as fair an experiment as possible. So the first sheet I washed as normal. I did an extra spin for the win in my washing machine. You're not usually around here thinking, what should you talk about an extra spin for the win? Four years, at the end of a cycle, I have put my washing machine on an extra spin and that just helps to get much more moisture out of the clothes, which means they are quicker to dry. So I had the control sheet, washed it as normal, extra spin for the win, hung it over the banister. Because obviously I'm trying to recreate drying inside. How can we speed up drying inside without a tumble dryer? Second sheet went through the spin dryer. So it went through the washing machine as normal. I didn't do a spin for the win and I put it into the spin dryer. Third sheet, washed as normal, extra spin for the win, hung on the pulley in the utility room with the dehumidifier on clothes drying setting. This is a spin dryer. So it goes in, it holds about two and a half kilo load you lock the lid and it starts doing its thing. It slowly starts off and then it picks up speed. And this is what it got out of a single sheet that took about four minutes. This is a dehumidifier. It was um, put on clothes drying setting. I popped it in my utility room, closed the door so it could be as efficient as possible. And just for reference, this is it in comparison size wise compared to the spin dryer. So the spin dryer is significantly larger. I found the drying time pretty much the same for the two. Obviously, when I put the sheet that I was gonna use a dehumidifier for, that went through an extra spin as well. So the drying time is comparable. However, the biggest difference for me is the options that the spin dryer gives you. So obviously the dehumidifier can only help if you're drying things indoors, but the spin dryer, you can use it and then hang it on an error. You can use it and get it out on the line. You can use it and use it with your tumble dryer. But when I combined it with my dry soon from Lakeland, it was an absolute game changer. I'm talking t-shirts and shirts drying so fast. For me, the clear winner was the spin dryer. And the reason for this was because it gives options. For the amount of money that it costs, it creates more options to getting the clothes dry in different circumstances. I can use this all year round, even if I'm drying outside. I can put something in the spin dryer and I can get it on the line, it's gonna dry faster. I can put something in the spin dryer and I can get it, if I have to, like if I'm really short on time, spin dryer, tumble dryer. But the absolute dream team that I, that I found and that I've actually been using ever since I did this experiment was the dry soon from Lakeland 
teamed with the spin dryer. So Lakeland gifted me this back in the spring and I've just been using it as normal. But when you use the spin dryer and then get it in the dry soon, it is an absolute game changer. I mean, I'm talking minutes here, t-shirts drying in minutes, school shirts drying in minutes. So that's going to cut down the amount of time that you're going to have to have your dry soon on for as well. Now, obviously, if you don't have a dry soon, if you just have a heated air, then great. I understand it is it's, it, that, that is the, probably the downside. The two cost quite a lot of money. But out of the two, if you are going to invest, I would personally go for the spin dryer. I was underwhelmed, really, with the dehumidifier and also the spin dryer. This is going to sound really, really ri ridiculous. It was just, I found it, I was, like, oh, my, I was getting people, I was like, look, look, look at all the water that's getting out. What you have to bear in mind is that my washing machine has a high spin of 1,400 RPM. The spin dryer that I was using had a 2,800 RPM spin cycle. And the instructions on the lid said that if you, a, a typical towel, so if you think a towel will retain the most moisture, won't it, would take between three to five minutes in the spin dryer to get as much water out as possible. My spin cycle on my washing machine takes about 10 minutes. So when I do my typical spin for the win, which by the way, this spin dryer has completely taken the place of, I have been using it every single time I've had the washing machine on. So in terms of the amount of time that it's on for, you have the spin dryer on for much less time than you would have either an extra spin for the win on your washing machine. And definitely compared to the dehumidifier, it needs to be on for a much shorter period of time. The dehumidifier obviously had to be on for a considerable length of time whilst the clothes were drying. Now, I know the next question that you're going to ask me is, oh, yes, but how much does each cost? Well, I am not a mathematician. Mike is the in-house mathematician. I've given him the information. I will pop a in the description of this video roughly how much we've worked out that each one costs. So if you are interested, take a look in the description below. I will also pop a link to both the dehumidifier and the spin dryer and the dry soon in my Amazon shop. So if you are on the lookout for any of those, if you want to think, oh, I just don't want to buy one or I want to combine two or the other, then that will all be in my Amazon shop. If there is anything else that you would like me to test, if you've got your eye on something and you're thinking, should I be spending my hard earned pennies on that? Do I fall for the hype? Pop it in the comments below and I might be reviewing it soon. Until next time, I will speak to you all very soon. Do not forget to like and subscribe and have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are.